Hello everybody, it's Tom Lyons here from makingyoufindable.com and I got a great tip the other day from Mike Mueller. Um, he, um, he put out a blog post and um, he was talking about getting photos into your blog and some of the really easy ways um, to make that happen because um, anytime you attach a photo to a blog it makes things more interesting and, and it certainly makes it more readable for people and sometimes a picture is worth a thousand words and you can really make your point if, um, if you can get the right picture for it. However, finding a picture for your blog can be a real pain in the butt. Um, so there's a plugin for that if, um, if you're ever looking for one and it's called PhotoDropper, the ultimate resource for photos and all you do is go to PhotoDropper.com um, you can see here it's a WordPress plugin, so if you're using WordPress, it's fantastic. And um, away you go, you just go down here, and you can see download the um, the WordPress plugin. You click on that, and um, you upload it to your site. You bring in your um, your FTP program, loader up, and um, once you've downloaded it. You connect. I'm not going to show you all the details here, but um, you connect, you drag it over, you dump it in. Um, for those that haven't uploaded it, something get your web guy to do it for you. Once it's installed, it looks like where did I put it? It looks like this right here. See that little button? So say I want to write a new post about I love my cat. This is my post for the day. Um, as you can see, very relevant to the real estate market and I want a picture of a cat so I click on add a photo from PhotoDropper it asks me what the keyword is and I go cat and look there's pictures of cats let's be a little more specific let's go with a tabby cat are we getting anything? no we didn't get anything let's go back to cat and be a little less specific um, and so anyway you can see that we can go next we'll just take a look and see there's a nice tabby cat okay so we'll take him we'll grab um, let's grab the small version of the picture uh, that's a little too small what do you think can we get a bigger you can see I'm doing this on the fly so there there ain't no um, there ain't no editing involved here, people. Go back to cat. We're gonna grab the medium-sized picture. I think it will look a little bit, a little bit better next. There we go, medium size. Very nice. See, there's a nice tabby cat there. And then I can write my text. Blah blah blah. Blah 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 blah. Blah blah. blah. Oh wait, we don't want to do that. photo credit blah 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 and I want to change the advanced settings here so that there's a little space surrounding it a little bit and let's make sure that it's left aligned and let's update there you go and you want to make sure you give um, you give photo credit so I'm just going to cut that out and then go back in and um, I'm just going to give it a caption, paste, update. There. So there you go. That's all there is to um, to adding it. I don't want this actual post, but you can see how easy it is to go grab a picture and have it actually dumped in, and um, boom, you got a picture for um, for your next blog post without needing to go find it, save it, import it, size it do all that great stuff This saves you a ton of time and um, it gives recognition to the author too so that it, it um, fits a Creative Commons license agreement from Twitter so there you go people I hope um, I hope you enjoyed that and I know I'm a little distracted as I'm um, as I'm deleting this post but um, I hope you enjoyed it and